Nice, we're in an inventor drawing and we're gonna go ahead and do a parts list for an assembly. So, um, so basically we're starting out in this drawing so that we can show how to add a new sheet. So basically we have an existing sheet. You can add as many sheets as you want into a DWG. Um, also notice that um, we can go, um, depending on where you're going to take this DWG. So for example, you're gonna, if you're gonna take the DWG and then open it and say AutoCAD, um, you need to know about um, what you need to know um, what version of it do we need to save it as. So, so basically, if we go to over to view, it's not view; it is uh, tools, and we go to application options. Okay, and then we basically go to um, drawing. Okay, notice that basically inventor DWG file version, we can go, we can actually change the file version here. Okay, so so basically, you know, if you have a license for AutoCAD, not 2018, something between 2013 and 2018, you'd want to change that AutoCAD version there. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead um, and continue. So we're going to make a parts list. And so we're going to right click in the model uh, tab there and do new sheet. That is gonna copy the existing sheet we had. So we had sheet, um, sorry, we had sheet one, right? Okay, and then basically it copied over into sheet two. Notice whichever sheet I'm editing, that's the one that is not grayed out. So if I double click sheet one, notice that's no longer grayed out. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and place a view. So we're gonna uh, click base view and we're gonna click an assembly. In this case, we have this very simple assembly here. We're going to select the view we want using the cube. Okay, we're gonna drag it over. In this case, we want to see the shading or the coloring of the, of the image that we had in the model. So we're gonna click um, shaded. We can even click raster view if we want an even better one, uh, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and click okay. Actually, we're gonna make it a little bit bigger and we're gonna go ahead and click okay. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and move that up and then we're going to go over to annotate and click parts list okay so to generate our parts list we're going to click select a view so we're going to click on the arrow here to select the view and we're going to select our assembly and then click ok click ok and we're going to go ahead and place our parts list down in the right hand corner there notice that um, so we have our parts list but we haven't really associated that parts list with the parts in the assembly here so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click this balloon and notice that it's automatically going to number these so uh, so we're going to see our red highlight pull it out and uh, double click to place whoops double click to place and uh, then we see that there's item two and there's quantity two right of the side okay so we're going to click over here double click again double click click and double click click and double click okay so there is our parts list um, for an assembly and the associated uh, balloons that that explain which part is which okay uh, best of luck